ABCD is a parallelogram in which BC is produced to E such that CE equals to BC so in the in the figure and AE intersects CD AE intersects CD at F if area of triangle DFB DFB this this triangle is 3 square centimeters find the area of parallelogram ABCD so we construct this H height H now what we'll do is area of triangle DFB D F and B this triangle that is given that is 3 but what is the formula for that half into base D F into height H right equals to 3 so we'll find out D F into H is what then this 2 will come on this side that will become 6 so D F into H equals to 6 now look at this F F is a midpoint of A E why because midpoint what does midpoint theorem say E B A this triangle C is the midpoint and C F is parallel to A B why because opposite sides of a parallelogram now C is the midpoint and C F parallel to A B so that proves that F will be the midpoint of A E by midpoint theorem you check the triangle chapter that it, there it is proved check the earlier videos so we have AF equals to FE now AF equals to FE therefore triangle EDF will be congruent to triangle ECF why by A S A test why is it because these are vertically opposite this side is equal we have just proven it and these angles are same by alternate angles because BC is parallel to AD and this is a transversal so this becomes Z internal or alternate angle they are always equal okay see this slide we have covered this slide in our triangle chapter this is internal alternate angles you can watch those videos here all the angles between the parallel lines are covered so now triangle ADF congruent to triangle e ECF ASA test so what happens FD becomes equals to FCY CPCD corresponding parts of congruent triangles so FD equals to FC therefore DC equals to 2DF right then area of ABCD is what now base into height what is the base DC into height is H but what is DC it's 2DF so 2DF into H but DF into H we already know 6 so 2 into 6 12 so this becomes ABCD becomes 12